When you work with Prisma, there's a good chance you're going to work with Prisma Migrate. So let's take a look at the first few things that you might do with Prisma Migrate in a brand new Prisma project, which we've got here. We've got a schema with just a user model. Over here, let's start up a new Prisma Postgres database just to get ourselves a database to work with. The name I'll give it is Migrations. Then we'll choose Prisma Postgres, get started. And we'll choose the default region, create project. We'll get some keys here, a database URL and a Pulse API key. Let's copy those. Over in the project in the environment file, let's paste that in. Now the very first command that you'll want to get familiar with is npx prisma migrate dev. Prisma migrate dev is going to create a migration to go into our migrations directory. That puts in an SQL file, which is going to affect the shape of our database. And it's going to run that migration, make that change for us all in one go. Migrate dev, we'll give it a name, dash dash name, and we'll call it init. Okay, so we're good to go. I've just added in a few user records. Let's take a look at that in Prisma Studio. And let's see what happens if we duplicate one. So I'm going to copy Alice over and make that a record here as well. We'll save that change. Now, if we wanted to come over and mark this email field as being unique, and we wanted to run a new migration for that, we're going to run into an issue. Let's try it. npx prisma migrate dev name make email unique. We get a warning that if there are any duplicate records, we'll run into issues. Let's choose just to run ahead though. So Y for yes. And now we've got a big error because we have some duplicated data. The way to backtrack on this is let's grab the name of the migration. We'll copy this folder name and let's roll it back. To do that, we do npx prisma migrate resolve rolled back. And then we give the name. We paste that right in. Now that migration has been marked as resolved in our migrations table. And we can go ahead now and take off that unique directive and we can move forward from there. 